Hey guys, Zen up here. Today we're checking out this wireless bridge from UEV. Inside the box you get the wireless bridge, a Wi-Fi 6 router, some power over ethernet cables, two power adapters, and a user's guide. So let's hook this thing up and see what it can do. I let baby girl take the Starlink Mini with her when she goes out to the cabin, but the cabin is under some trees and stuff and it doesn't have a good view of the sky but where she can get the clear picture of the sky is too far away for the Wi-Fi to hit. So, we're going to pretend that that corner of a shed there is our cabin. And we're going to come all the way out here. Spin this thing around. We're going to put our Starlink Mini on here. And then put our bridge right on there. One on the cabin side. And we're going to see if we can transmit the Starlink Mini signal all the way across our property to that shed there we have our transmitter bridge there kind of pointing down a little bit because that pole's kind of slanted but we'll just have to deal up here we have our sterlink mini on top of the pole with a couple battery banks powering the sterlink mini and one powering the bridge. So let's go set up the other side. Right here on the corner of the shed is where we're gonna put that receiver. We got it on there temporarily. Now let's go inside and hook up the Wi-Fi router. As you can see here, I cannot reach site M, which is our Starlink Mini. Let's go ahead and make sure it's still active. And it is up 21 watts being used no outages this is our 5g signal our password here now we will hit connect whoo look at that that is amazeballs so we are going from the other side of the property all the way over to this shed in here into this wi-fi router we are connected 5G speed and run a speed test. And that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's not bad for the Starlink Mini. Oh, nice upload speed, too. Usually we only get about 5 to 10. Oh, it's coming down. Satellites be moving how satellites move. But now I can have some kind of setup like this out there where she goes camping and she's going to have internet inside instead of having to be all the way over by one of the trailers that has power. After looking at these instructions for a while, I noticed that you could take a bunch of Wi-Fi security cameras, set them up on the very edge of your property. This thing will go like 1.8 miles. So say down at the bottom of your driveway and have the signal sent all the way back to your house without having to dig any trenches for cables. You just have to set up some kind of power station at the other end. So if you got a lot of property and you want to see what's going on before it gets to you, one of these bridges is the way to go. After you pop off this cover for the bottom of your bridge, you're going to see down here a few things. We have a button here to push to switch the channel. We have a Ethernet port. We have our little display. Here is a button switch back and forth for A or B. This is our power over ethernet cable and this is a 12 volt input that we might use for our project later on. Right now we're going to switch this one here over to A and this one here gets over to B. You'll also get two of these power bricks has two ethernet ports on the bottom this says PoE, Power Over Ethernet, and this one's for LAN. So we are going to take our Power Over Ethernet cable, plug it into PoE. On our A, we are going to plug this into our 
power side, which is going to be on the right. And on this one, you're going to plug it into the power side, which is on the right. On the bottom of the B side, you're going to see this little dot that lets you know that you're on the B. We're going to put these on the C channel. And I don't know, let's go with. to A as well. There we go. And on uh, the sides here, you're going to see that we have power, and then pretty soon you're going to see them connect. And you can see we're getting signal. Now all we have to do is connect our internet to here, connect our Wi-Fi router to here, and we will be receiving Wi-Fi at a distance. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.